Hello, I'm Robin Windsor, Cybera's president and CEO. Come on along, I'll show you a bit about what we do. Cybera has been around for many years, founded by a group of visionaries who realized they needed to connect the universities, even before the internet was there. Today, we're connecting universities, schools, colleges, maker spaces, business incubators, all sorts of folks who need connectivity and cloud resources. I'll show you how we monitor that and what we do. We keep an eye on everything with monitors like this that show how the traffic's moving from BC through Alberta, out to the rest of Canada and around the world with research and education networks. And we monitor the cloud resources that Cybera provides. Thousands and thousands of virtual CPUs making things happen for entrepreneurs and researchers. We'll talk about more of that a little later on. Come on in. We use robots for staff from different offices to connect in. And um, this one's called Slim. So here's a piece of fiber optic network. These things are great. They carry lots of capacity. Most people never get to see them. And this little bundle from the Alberta SuperNet, there's 12 cables. Each of those 12 cables breaks into 12 of these tiny little hair-sized fibers. And just two of these fibers are enough to carry all the traffic between major research universities. So lots and lots of capacity. One of the problems is that not everybody has access to this. And here's what Cybera is going to do about that and why it's a problem. Two children in a small prairie town. At the end of the school day, when they head home, one's going to a house in town where they have good connectivity, and the other's a few kilometers outside town where they have nothing. The first kid can look up stuff on Wikipedia, Google, whatever, and the second has to use an old-fashioned encyclopedia. The next day, back on the school bus, when they arrive at school, one's got their homework done to 21st century standards, another to 20th. That's a big problem, and we need to fix it. Cybera's out to make sure that the connectivity is there for all children to be able to access the resources they need. So once we've got the connectivity fixed up, we can get out there and use the resources. Let's go take a look at what those resources look like. So what does the cloud look like? We're here at the University of Calgary, one of the many locations where Cybera hosts our physical servers. There's hundreds of them and you can see all the equipment, but they're generating thousands of virtual servers, making resources available to all of our users all of the time. Well, that kind of wraps it up for this quick visit to Cybera. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you'd like to learn some more, check out our website at cybera.ca.